okay so this is my application and this is the intro and at first we will come by to the sign up and login page in the sign up page uh, it requires us to put username email and password uh, let's try type in the password and we also need to put our personal information so we need to put our date of birth and choose our country and the state and finally the phone number And for the sign-in page, we only need to put our username, our email, and the password. And these two icons, it means that we can log in using Facebook and Google. So this is the main homepage of the app and as you can see there is some info for the company to add like phone number, email and location. If you scroll down you can see a preview of some products that the company can make or print and when we click shop now it will go straight away to the order page. So the next page that I'm going to explain is the wallet page. So this is the wallet where the user can keep money. So whenever they order something, they can just use the wallet so it will be easy and fast whenever they want to make payments. So we can top up our wallet here. And uh, we need to enter the amount. and we can choose which card are we going to use to pay then proceeds to the next page which shown that we finally success to make payments we can see our recent activity as well we can just click see more next page is make a new order page so we can choose which item are we going to order let's say we want to choose um, poster and we can choose the size we can print something large format and just enter the length and width but let's just say we want the A3 size and choose one-sided or two-sided and then choose the material then the thickness of the paper and we can add in the quantity let's say one and choose the finishing after that uh, we need to put in our files choose file and find the files from our phone and click done and it will show in a preview Then finally, can add to cart and pay and check out. We can choose whether we want to make another order or just proceed to pay. Then we need to choose location or address. 
and we can add new address and fill in all the details then we can click save address then we need to choose shipping options let's say same day and we can use reward choose one reward that is available and use reward then choose the payment method use my wallet or credit card and then you get the total and done after we pay we can see the bills of our order and we can also track our order we can see where the driver is and we can call and message the driver if we go back it will go to our profile so basically we can check our bills and track our order in our profile another page is my folder page for this page we can put and save our files so if one day we want to make another order we can just choose the file from the files that we've uploaded here let's say we want to add in a file we can choose a file from our emails or we can choose a file from our photos and let's go back we can also take a photo and upload it then choose whether you want to save it or take another photo we can see our recent uploaded files it will show a preview like this or we can s just see all the files right away now let's go back to the profile page so in the profile page just like many other apps we can edit our profile and just fill in our information and finally save changes in this page we can see our member status like the platinum member and the points we can also see how long we've been using this app next we proceed into the notification page so in here in our notification of course we can see the status of our order next the um, general page it provides help data policy terms of use and lockout again this is the bills page and a page to track our order and um, the rewards page uh, here we can see the rewards that is available uh, depending on our points and lastly the address page again we can add a new address as well And the last page I want to show you is the uh, my card page so this one is to see all of the orders that we input but we haven't made payment of it yet and then uh, we can log out and that's it for my app thank you